know that I probably won't see 90 and I probably won't see 80, but, but who knows how long the future will be, but none of us know that. And so you just enjoy and live every day as much as you can. It's life. You know, if you don't enjoy your life, I mean, you, when you said it, it just brought me back. You know, part of it is you think about the past a little bit. But uh, my name is Bob Ben Moshe, and I'm the president and CEO of AIG. Well, I actually spent seven years as a Coca-Cola truck driver and salesman, and uh, put myself through uh, prep school, put myself through college, uh, all the way up into when I went into the United States Army. So I actually started out uh, as just a plain worker. And uh, when I came out of the Army, I was a lieutenant in the Signal Corps uh, in the uh, 66 to 68 period of time. And uh, from there, I decided that the best thing I could do to be successful was learn about computers. So I programmed my first computer in 1964. I hate to admit it, it's a while ago. And uh, stayed in a technology career and eventually worked my way through marketing and uh, eventually into executive management. As I looked out at the Adriatic Sea, because uh, I was in Croatia at the time, as you know, for the summers, and I looked at the beauty and uh, thought about how good my life was at that point in time, and I said, why would I want to go back and give this up? And, and uh, it became clear as the summer went on that um, AIG really represented a very important uh, part of the financial world, and they were totally demoralized. You had situations where uh, people's children were beat up in school because their parent worked for AIG. And so what I realized was if I don't quickly rebuild morale, show them I'm willing to support them, uh, fight back anybody who wants to attack the people, and get the government and other people who are critical at that point to realize that these people want to solve the problem of the company, get the company back up on, on its legs, and pay back the government. And so that's what we were able to accomplish early on the first three or four months. So if TARP had expired and we didn't have this exit plan, I think we'd have been in trouble. I think people would have said, it looks like AIG, you know, even now people, headlines appear, you know, we're not going to pay back the government. The fact is we are, and they're going to get a profit. The, the main concern uh, people have is, is succession. And for me, I already said to the, to the board and to the company and employees that I would like to stay around through uh, this next year, 2011. But as we get into 2012, I'd like to think about, you know, look, I enjoyed my retirement. So, uh, and it's time for, for the company to, not only for me to retire, but you should have a CEO who now has a five to seven year horizon who can take us to the next level. And clearly that's not me. But more importantly, I look back at my life. I've been blessed. I've had an incredible life. Uh, I've enjoyed my life in many ways. I've seen things that uh, some people wouldn't see in three lifetimes. And so when you add it up, it's nice to know I'm in a good place. So I feel psychologically fine. I feel comfortable. Um, it's just that uh, I know that I probably won't see 90 and I probably won't see 80. But, but who knows how long the future will be, but none of us know that. And so you just enjoy and live every day as much as you can. <laughs> so, I know that you're very good at that.